Uh, a lot of animals will have kind of a delayed uh, uh, type of uh, problem from smoke. Uh, you guys may rescue them and the dog may look fine, he may be happy and alert, but a lot of these dogs uh, will so show signs of uh, lung damage 24 to 48 hours later. So it's, it, it's good if you know, the pet owner just says, oh, I got my dog back, we're going to go to a hotel somewhere. Uh, you know, they're, they're reminded that those dogs can develop uh, respiratory distress. The, these particular masks are designed for basically anesthetic recovery. So uh, a, a sedate dog uh, theoretically should sit there with his nose in there and breathe pure oxygen, okay? Um, you guys will have to deal with either extremely frightened animals or animals that are probably unconscious to some degree. Um, and uh, there are ways that we can modify this to uh, help you resuscitate, uh, let's say, unconscious animals and, and just some tips that uh, may make your life a little bit easier in the, in the field, okay? Um, if, if the animal is calm and uh, quiet, then just uh, oxygen flow uh, through the uh, the mass system is fine. Uh, a big dog like this, uh, sometimes you'll find that the, they don't particularly like their nose uh, covered by the mask. You can tie the dog's mouth closed as tight as you want. You're not going to uh, cut off the ability to breathe because they breathe uh, very well through their nose. Is I would just loop it uh, a couple times like this. So you have basically, you snug it uh, tight over their jaw and then you you can cross it and then you tie it just like your shoe uh, bootlace behind her neck and then you do that and then you don't have to worry about her biting you and uh, it's a very easy it's comfortable on the dog how often do we encounter animals that need to be rescued at fire scenes um, I myself have only encountered that twice um, it, it doesn't happen very frequently. Most of the time, if the owners of the home can get out, usually the pets get out too. It, it happens, though, when we have homes where the residents weren't present at the time of the fire that, that we might encounter pets. Um, certainly, if, if there were large quantities of smoke and, and, and high heat associated with the fire um, where it traveled throughout the house, um, our efforts would likely not be successful, but now we have an opportunity that at least we can attempt something and give pet owners and the, the fire victims at least a sense of, well, you know, there was a chance. And then if we give the animal a chance to recover, then then we've done the best we can. And, and now we can do a little bit better with these tools. So that's a great thing.